uh, this is something that we've been agitating for, but it didn't happen for whatever reason. Uh, we tried, I think, even more alacrity when Ebola came, uh, and it would have been good if we had it again at that time, and to have a different kind of dialogue. You know, because we in Africa, we understood the disease a lot better. Nigeria had actually gone through, uh, in the way that it dealt with it, was lauded by the World Health Organization uh, for how it handled and, and dealt with Ebola and eliminated it, which was a, in a very difficult and complex environment. I mean, is it 20 million people are in Lagos and something like this? And to so have just a, a few people actually come down with this is quite extraordinary. Um, and for an African country or any country, uh, the United States, CDC, uh, disease, Center for Disease Control, they all sent people down there. So that was um, you know, news that we knew uh, how to manage it. We, we were in touch with people who, you know, some friends that I knew were knowing people who were doctors and nurses on the front line. And so we had a different view of the risk and how it could be managed and how to deal with it, both the public perception uh, at, at the level of the, uh, you know, the contact tracing, the management in the, in the, in the health sector, uh, airport, so, and that was knowledge that we had very early on that could have been transmitted and would have helped with the public perception, as well as for the frontline doctors, nurses, and so on, who would also be panicked. And so it, it did occur to me that, um, you know, that would have been very useful then, but here we are. And so we hope that, you know, at the beginning of this project, really this idea of self-self cooperation, I'm a Barbadian living in, in Africa, living in South Africa, working in three or four other African countries. I see the tremendous opportunities for cross-fertilization, from learning from each other. That's better for, than us probably learning from the North where the situation uh, and the, the, the challenges that they confront are entirely different, but ours are very similar. And we, we keep talking to other people that don't understand and experience and live our situation very well, how to move out of, you know, to how to deal with our challenges, but we should be really talking to each other. And the Ebola situation is a good example of that. So the whole project about bringing students here to the Caribbean for, to look at the Trinidad experience of you know, leveraging the wealth in oil to create a diversified economy, coming to Barbados to look at where many African countries find themselves now, even those that are very rich with things like oil is a commodity, and how have we moved within our own lifetimes that we can remember from a commodities-based economy to a fully diversified economy based on services, uh, tourism, financial services, and so on. So that that uh, you know, joint learning and cross-fertilization, uh, some of the problems, uh, I think we can solve that way, but also we can see opportunities that we can you know, learn from each other and trade with each other and develop you know, t together. So I, I think that sort of comes full circle, both the negative and the positive. And we, we can, with more cooperation between these islands of, of primarily African peoples uh, and Africa, which is in its, its heyday at, at the moment, its renaissance and its boom, uh, that there is more than e enough reason for us to be thinking about engaging them more constructively and, and productively, and that both sides will benefit from that. Can we say the last question? Um, I just wanted to know, in terms of the teeth and problems that you encountered, going forward in future, would Barbados be considered as part of this program in future? Well, certainly from my perspective, and I know that there are a couple of other uh, states in Africa, either uh, national states or and states within Nigeria, that are you know, ready to do very similar and considering Barbados because of the whole diversification and the tourism element. I mean, they might not be looking at, so many of them are not leisure tourists uh, attracting right now, but it's tremendous business tourists, which is, a, is, is an important uh, aspect of, of tourism too. And we know a lot about that too, conferences and all the rest. So certainly I wanted to do this, not just uh, it was a good business idea, but also to do something for my own country, 
and to open up Africa and the possibilities there to other Barbadians who would not be considering it or have a very negative and unrealistic and, and a false picture of Africa. So certainly I would like to see to do more here uh, and to facilitate that. But also I'd like to see other Barbadians start looking at Africa for the business opportunities that with their own ingenuity and vision and creativity, uh, they can create more of those links and business that will you know, drive other things, culture, politics, and other forms of cooperation for mutual benefit. Start our program because a lot of what I gained when I found was not there that we thought was there. So with a small team here and in Africa, just redo it with the program. We are just about to announce uh, Shanti Jack uh, Trotman, who is going to be supporting uh, my company here uh, as my agent on the ground. So it, it was a lot of, you know, it's a pilot project that we had to almost re-pilot or restart uh, in life. Time. So there's no, you know, we're doing several things at once, and we aren't at any stage of certainty. We in can't say moving. that they're moving anywhere till we have signed an agreement with someone and have certainty on the date. Uh, as I've said, we, the the Infinity Hotel where we thought we might be going, they've given us a date of something in May. Uh, so, and that is the only. And, and even that we've asked, you know, to have some certainty, let's have it in writing, uh, and we were told they were consulting their lawyers, so we're still waiting on that. So even May is not certain. So we're not at any stage of being able to tell anybody anything with certainty until we have a signed agreement and a date that we are moving in. And at that time, will I be able, and my team be able to announce when they're moving, but not before then. But 